You're tuning in to 91.9 KCSB FM in Santa Barbara, online at kcsb.org. This week's artist is Rain here at In the Spotlight, the show that brings you unknown underground music and puts it in the spotlight. I'm Ryan Chabetta, and our engineer and editor is Quill Sang. I think he's gonna choke When he steps up to the plate That was Lang Gang by Slothfella, a lighthearted breather episode before some of the uh, more intense stuff that's going to be coming up as we enter. We're not at the finale yet. We got six songs left, but as mm-hmm. we start to enter the intense, you know, real heartbreaker moments the, on the, the horizon. Intense, the intense back half of the catalog. Yeah. Um, yeah, Lang Gang's great lighthearted apart from all the references to blood <laughs> that is being <laughs> drunk Light, lighthearted musically this is still you know we're living in desperate times yeah. in the baseball world it's it's desperate times whenever the song about drinking up blood so that you can be strong and good at the sport you're doing is like <laughs> the cheerful oh. breather yeah um you know, it's just something you vibe to. Um, but yeah, it is. It's getting to that point where we're gonna find out if Jalen Hot Dog Fingers is gonna come back from the dead. Um, and so, uh, Don't Stay Null is about um, feeling bad about the consequences of what might happen. Um, foreboding it's 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 very foreboding um it's it's about the the debt that might be undertaken because whenever you bring someone back from the dead obviously you have to give something back um is is usually how it works there's no there's no free resurrections in the world um and then blessings uh shove them after that uh is my track um, and inspired by someone on Twitter um, who was like, uh, hey, The Garages, could you write a song um, that is called Take Your Blessings and Shove Them? And I was like, I'll see what I can do. And that is what I did. Um, and I, I almost didn't do it because I didn't think I had a good angle for it. But then I was like, oh no, I know exactly what I'm going to write about which is 
you you go to the gods to get what you want, which in this case is a resurrection. But that's not like, you, you know, that's not game over just because you get one of the things you want from your authority figures that are keeping you down. You know, if you get like a minor concession or like uh, a small nudge towards progress, you know, that's not enough. Um, and it's, it's really a song about being like, listen, you give us these little scraps, you give us these little crumbs of incremental progress and it's not good enough. Um, you know, you can, you can take your blessings and you can shove them because what I want is for the Blazeball gods to be abolished. Uh, which is what I was talking about this whole time. There you go. Again, context, read it, read of it what you will. Uh, let's take it's, a listen. It's about, it's about sports gods. It's very important to mention that that <laughs> thing I just said was about these fictional sports gods. Yes. And nothing else. Precisely. Let's hear Don't Stay No by Zach.ry. And after that, blessings, shove them by rain. Thought we'd maximize baseball, prepared for a grand slam. Heard the umpires scream while the void burst from its dam. But our celebration was cut brief. Turns out necromancy isn't cheap. Now we're left worried, we'll lose players while we're asleep There's no rules we can know for sure The book's still unclear There's no show we forward here The ground is shaking under us We're feeling unstable that happens when players don't stay no Now we live in a hell of, of our, our own creation. creation Our mayor is beaming more than Hendrix Richardson Do you get it? He's on the sun So we messed around and blasphemed a bit Now the internet league's all scared of getting hit a financial advisor before this debt It's just too much There's no rules we can know For sure the book's still unclear There's no show we forward here The ground is shaking under us Feeling unstable Don't say no Every game now has its place in For the day's incineration But will this virus keep erasing The brightest No one said the resurrection would mean That the dead would come back hungry Once they fed we lost too many But there are credits to their teams there's no rules we can know for sure The book's still unclear There's no show we forward here The ground is shaking Under us we're feeling unstable Guess Maybe that happens and players stay don't home. stay It's easy, don't you? It's just as simple as that You give me what I want And I'll leave you alone for life But that's not how it works I won't be bought and I can't be bribed You should come over sometime And I'll cut out your eyes
stand so tall and mighty up there with all the dark. But if you want to dance, then I am willing to break it down. I think it's time you witnessed the end to all your means. If I can't make it easy, I'll make sure the knife is clean. A spineless kind of nod You're just a wooden idol A counterfeited god I can look you in the eye And I won't turn to stone Cause when we stand together That means you will die You just heard Blessings, Shove em, by Rain. Before that, you heard Don't Stay Null by Zach Dotry. Both uh, members of the collective, Rain being the band leader, for the Seattle Garages, a baseball band. Uh, we're joined by Rain right now for an interview to talk about all the wonderful, wonderful aspects of baseball and the garages, both the fictional team and the real band as we move towards our final four tracks. Uh, thanks for having me. Thanks for uh, being here. But yeah, um, we are, we're moving now onto the sixth album, um, which is uh, not yet out, but will be out by the time you're hearing this, uh, called Encore with a full stop. Um, so at this point in the, in the story of the lore of Blazeball, uh, we have done a resurrection. The resurrection of Jalen Hot Dog Fingers has been successful. Um, uh, she's back alive and she's with the Seattle Garages. Um, but there has been a cost. Um, Jalen has undertaken a debt, um, which uh, last season of baseball was that um, if she accidentally uh, hit a player with a ball they would be marked for death and they had a higher risk of being incinerated um, and this season uh, whenever she hits people with a ball they have an increased chance of being feedbacked to an opposing team um, so both of those things are, are quite challenging things to deal with um, and there was a, a number of players lost um, these past couple of weeks on Blaseball. Mm -hmm. um, More incinerations last last season than ever before. Um, yeah, it like they came in rapid succession um, and and hit a, a number of players that people uh, cared deeply about. Um, so um, this next couple of tracks, uh, Rogue Ump, 
and hurt people um, is about that debt that is being paid by by Jalen, uh, which is that um, she sort of, um, in my mind, uh, been put in this position where she's been bought, brought back from the dead, um, but she's being expected to be responsible for the, the debt that is to be paid in her name, um, despite the fact that, you know, she didn't ask to be brought back. It was entirely other people scheming to make it happen, uh, which sort of gives it this uh, Greek tragedy sort of figure where someone's been brought back from the dead and has been told, well, you have a number of souls that now must be taken in exchange for your life. Um, and your response has to be that you're like, oh, but I didn't, a nobody asked, I did not ask for this. Um, so this next couple of tracks are, are about that. This is when we say it's starting to get intense. This is, this is when it really ramps up. Bro Gump by Slothfella. You're tuning in to KCSB FM 91.9 in Santa Barbara, online at kcsb.org. This program is called In the Spotlight, brought to you by myself, Ryan Chabella, and our editor and engineer, Quill Say. We're joined this week with the artist, Rain.
That was Hurt People by Rain. For that, you heard Rogue Up by Slothfella. Both tracks from the Seattle Garages about incineration on the baseball field. Uh, we are in a intense point now with, I think, probably my favorite track from from all of the Seattle Garage's discography, which is Mike Townsend knows what he's got to do. Yeah, uh, so talking about what the lore is, um, in addition to the fact that uh, Jalen being brought back has meant that uh, there are a number of souls to be reaped uh, to repay the debt of bringing her back to life. The other thing that the Garage has lost is that as Jalen was rescued from the shadows. Mike Townsend left to the shadows. Um, as uh, some sort of retribution uh, or rescue effort or as a, as a soul swap. Uh, there's been a number of different like takes and lore readings as to what actually happened there. Um, there isn't like one definitive truth as to how Mike Townsend left and how Jalen Hot Dog Fingers returned. Um, but I, whenever you write the first two songs about Mike Townsend, where Mike Townsend is a disappointment and then Mike Townsend is a credit to the team, I think this is maybe a fitting end for now to the Mike Townsend trilogy, um, where Mike, Mike knows what he's got to do. Uh, to get Jalen back and he takes it upon himself to just go do it um, and uh, this is the song of that um, and uh, from <laughs> from hearing the feedback to this song uh, from those people who are super invested in Blazeball uh, this song has, has got them, this song has got people um, in, in terms of uh, maybe making them cry or, or feel very strongly about this uh, per fictional guy who's just like a dead on sweet dude doing the right thing uh, to bring mm -hmm. back a dear friend of his. This was before we knew what was going to happen with the debt too. Mm -hmm. So it was even, it was even rougher. It's even rougher knowing that the sacrifice didn't get the result that Mike wanted. Yeah, it wasn't even just that it was like one one soul for one soul. Because um, if it if it was just that you you lose Mike but you gain Jalen, at least you can nod sagely and be like, "Yes, this this is fair," you know, one for one. Um, but that's not what ended up happening. Uh, it ended up being a lot uh, more brutal than that. Um, but yeah, this song is about uh, Mike's feelings about making this happen. Um, um, and yeah, like like I mentioned in the lore, we don't actually know if if <laughs> if Mike is like the active participant or you know the person who makes it happen. Um, but I wanted to write the song of what if that was the case. Um, uh, so yeah, Mike Townsend knows what he's got to do. One last detail to add. Originally in the baseball text, it said 
when Jalen Hawk Dog Thing is returned, it said Mike Townsend retreated to the shadows, but they updated it to be more accurate to his to his saga. Mike Townsend was credited to the shadows. Mike Townsend knows what he's got to do by rain. Mike Townsend has to get out of bed. Mike Townsend's got the voice in his head and he can't remove the heavy feeling. And it persists through the morning commute. He's running late, so he texts I'm on route, but he can't remove the heavy feeling. And it's the coffee with one sugar. And he wonders where they took her. And the radio comes on and he cannot help but to hear. They find a way to get her from the shadows. But we need someone to go to where the map shows. Mike tells him knows what he's got to do. If you need respect, then you just might earn some. It's a journey you might not return from. Mike tells him knows what he's got to do. Singing along, Mike Townsend hears his favorite song, but he can't remove the heavy feeling. The static hits when he's nearly there, the no mixing with the waves in the air, and he can't remove the heavy feeling. He does a copy with one sugar, and still he wonders where they took her. to KCSB FM 91.9 in Santa Barbara, online at kcsb.org. This program is called In the Spotlight, brought to you by myself, Ryan Chibetta, and our editor and engineer, Will Sang. We're joined this week with the artist, Rain. That was Mike Townsend, Knows What He's Gotta Do, by Rain. Uh, Rain's joined us right now. and This is the very last bit of interview that we're, we're gonna hear from them as we talk about the very last song that we're going to play, Tiana Cash. Uh, what's, what's the background that people should know about this track before they hear it? Um, so this track um, comes, comes early in the Garages catalog, um, but I wanted to drop it in at the end um, because I think it, it really exemplifies sort of the, the spirit of collaboration that has gone on uh, with the garages um, over the, it seems wild to say, but like month and three weeks <laughs> that it has been around for, uh, during which time we've managed to do, 
you know, six albums and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, but um, so when Tiana Cash um, was incinerated, uh, people really felt down. And I was in the middle of recording a song. Um, and I was like, I don't have lyrics for this yet. I just have this like really sentimental uh, guitar thing going on. And then as I was recording the guitar part um, on the Discord, people were like, Tiana Cash, no, Tiana, no. Um, and she'd gotten incinerated. And I was like, well, we should do, we should do a tribute song. Uh, so I posted just the chorus um, and was like, everybody, please send me uh, you singing along to the chorus and I'll edit it all together into a big uh, send-off choir uh, for Tiana Cash at the end. Um, so just quickly, those people are Mucus Queen, Yana, Jesse Gamble, Mike A.M., Castle, Tegan Eden, uh, Leah, and Zanterbird, who all sent in their uh, harmonies and oohs and various parts for the end of this song. Um, and as such, like... Um, at, at this point, I was like all in on 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 Blaze Ball, and whenever I heard it for the first time, all put together with everybody's voices, I did I did fully tear up about it. Um, it it did get me, <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I thought it was just very much in the spirit of uh, what Blaze Ball is, I think, to me and a lot of people, which is creating stuff together. Um, coming up with all of this cool lore and amazing story that is being told um, sort of with the game and outside of the game and the way that like you know it's really become a part of of some of our lives in terms of um, the media that's this really engaging and gripping us right now um, and, and giving something really cool to to be a part of um so yeah if if you want to find out about blazeball uh head to uh, blazeball.com to play it uh it's completely free and it's uh very accessible to get into uh given that it's just in a web browser um if you want to follow the garages uh we are at the garages on bandcamp uh, or search the garages on spotify uh or the Seattle Garages on YouTube. Uh, you can find us in all of those places. Um, if you want to buy merch uh, for the band, you can pick that up at thegarages.bandcamp.com forward slash merch. Uh, we have t-shirts, and by the time you're listening to this, um, we should have some cassette tapes up, which is pretty exciting. Um, if you want to follow me, I'm at a risk of rain on Twitter. Uh, and you can find my personal solo music at rainrain.bandcamp.com. Thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. it's It's been a, a delight and a pleasure uh, to talk about this extremely niche music about an extremely <laughs> niche subject with you. It's been a light for me too. Let's send it off with Tiana Cash. Sorry, Tiana Cash by Rain. Season three, you emerge. We're asking who is she And you proved yourself immediately In your strong arms you would carry us In your strong heart you could have married us We can't believe you did it last the week So how do we
got some mighty shoes to fill And Greer might do it as long as he does not fall ill This challenge is to try us But your strong wings, they could have flied us We can't believe our phoenix got put out Listening to 91.9 KCSB FM in Santa Barbara. Online at KCSB.